Uh, thank you. I appreciate my colleagues working together. Every meeting I have today, Tom, is a disaster of all different <laughs> kinds. Um, so the world is in a really dangerous place right now. I appreciate all that my colleagues have done to make America stronger and safer. Uh, we'll get to the agenda here, but I woke up this morning stunned, shocked, and disappointed, and quite frankly worried. The International Criminal Court moved forward in issuing an arrest warrant against the Minister of Defense, former Minister of Defense, Gallant, and the current Prime Minister <clears throat> for using starvation as a method of warfare, crimes against humanity of murder, persecution, and other inhumane acts against the State of Israel and their elected leaders. The State of Israel is not a member of the International Criminal Court, nor are we. Uh, <clears throat> one day they may be a Palestinian state, but there's not now. So I filed a brief with the court saying you don't have jurisdiction over Israel. Why does this matter? Whether you like what Israel is doing or not in the war, uh, that's not the debate here. The debate is the court is acting against a sovereign, independent, judicially robust democracy called Israel using a legal theory that means we're next. So to object to court's jurisdiction over Israel is to object to court's jurisdiction over America because we find ourselves in the same spot. The ICC years ago attempted or threatened to come after our soldiers in Afghanistan, and we we're able to uh, stand the ICC down. Uh, I have been working with a bipartisan group of senators, uh, Senator Blumenthal was one of them, about this matter. Under the Rome Statute, which I now know more than I ever hoped to know, that created the ICC, there's a concept called complementarity, where the statute requires the prosecutor in question to consult with the party that uh, may, in their view, has committed a wrong. They have been talking to Israel obliquely, but on May 1st, uh, on May 1st, we had four Republicans and four Democrats engage with Prosecutor Khan that Israel has not had a chance to submit their side of the story. We were assured by Prosecutor Khan that a team from the ICC would go to Israel and meet with their legal officials on the ground. They were at the airport and they were told that the team from the ICC is not coming and Prosecutor Khan announces on CNN his uh, decision to proceed with arrest warrants. Not only was I flabbergasted and dumbfounded, I was suspicious. Now what do we know? We know that a couple of weeks before his decision to cancel the meeting with Israel to get their side of the story, allegations of sexual misconduct and other impropriety were, a lot, uh, were, were made against the prosecutor. There is now an independent investigation of uh, that situation. There is, to be kind about it, a large cloud over him and his actions. The court has set up an independent investigation of this and has now legitimized his work product while he's been investigated. This is ass backwards. Um, I supported the court's actions against Russia because I don't think there is a rule of law in Russia, Mr. Chairman. But when it comes to Israel, how can you say they don't have an independent judiciary? The prime minister is in facing investigation. Uh, so I would say this to my colleagues, now is an important time for America to speak with a single voice. I talked to Mr. Sullivan, Jake Sullivan today. The administration's gonna object to this because to agree they have a jurisdiction over Israel is to agree in theory they have jurisdiction over us. This is a defining moment to protect our troops in the field, our diplomats around the world for, from a rogue organization who had a legitimate role in the world has now become illegitimate. So I am going to be introducing legislation soon telling any country that aids and abets the ICC's actions against Israel, you can expect a firm response from the United States. There's legislation sitting in the Senate that was passed by the House to sanction the ICC, I think appropriately. 43 Democrats voted for it. We cannot get it to move forward. So I'm urging Senator Schumer to bring that bipartisan legislation to the floor of the Senate, and let's vote on it now. I promise you, if it's not done now, Senator Thune, as new majority leader, will bring that up. But I will not let this go. I've never been more worried about our people than I am right now. 
what they're doing against Israel reeks of politics, and the system at the ICC is corrupt at its core. How in the world can you legitimize the work product of somebody you believe needs to be investigated before the investigation's done? How can you proceed against a nation who's willing to talk to you uh, before you hear their side of the story? So <clears throat> I will not let this go. Uh, to my Democratic colleagues, you've been great. You've been helpful. Senator Blumenthal wants to work with me. Whether you like BB or not, this is not about BB. It is about some sense of rule of law that will eventually benefit our nation because if they get away with it with Israel, we are next. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Gray.